Okay, let me cut to the chase. Don't buy a Dell. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna to talk about why not, or why you should not, buy a Dell computer. So, this computer is a Dell laptop, G3. Um, it's a gaming laptop. A little bit more expensive. It's not a top of the line laptop by any means, but it is more expensive because it is a gaming laptop. Uh, we bought this last year for my daughter for Christmas. Um, she likes to play a few video games as well as it, it's a good computer for school and uh, all the other things that she needs to do. So this computer lasted exactly 12 months and two and a half weeks before it died. So it's, we got this on one of Dell's sales for pre-Christmas. Uh, so it's about a $600, $650 laptop that lasted just over a year. So guess what? The warranty is exactly 12 months. So in contacting Dell about this computer and why it will no longer boot up, um, it has power, it has all that stuff, but you get nothing on the screen. So when you call support, they say the motherboard's bad. We took it to the Geek Squad. The Geek Squad said motherboard's bad. So the motherboard for a computer like this is about $300. By the time you send the computer in, it's probably about $350. Um, so they will fix it for you but you're gonna pay for it because it is two and a half weeks off warranty. So, if this computer, I would never buy a Dell. I would never buy a computer, a Dell computer again, because this, if your motherboard is only lasting that long with the limited usage that my daughter used it for. She's not using it like in a business where it's on all day. She's not using it constantly. She's not gaming on it all night long. This laptop has very little use and it doesn't travel. It stays in her room. So it's not even like it's getting abused by being shoved into a backpack. It's not any of that. So can you imagine how long this would last if it was? I mean, if the motherboard lasted, you know, just over a year um, with limited usage as a gaming, which should take more abuse than a normal laptop, um, can you imagine how long it would have lasted? Okay, so here's what happened with this. One evening, uh, my daughter powered it on. You could hear everything power on, you still can. You can hear everything power on. The keyboard lights up, but you get nothing on the screen. And you hear the fans kick on, so you're getting power to the laptop, all that works, but you're not getting anything on the screen whatsoever. Um, we took a look, it's not the graphics card. If it was a graphics card, you'd still get some kind of error on the screen. We tried to hook it up to a monitor, doesn't work. So at the end of the day, everybody conclusion on this is it's the motherboard. Um, so I called Dell support and I said, I told them the whole situation and they basically were like, it's off warranty, doesn't, doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if it's a day off warranty, it doesn't matter if it's two weeks off warranty, they will do nothing for you if your computer is off warranty. Just so you know, nothing. I escalated it to uh, a manager, the manager called me back, we won't do anything for you. Um, I went through their chat session, won't do anything for you. At the end of the day, they do not stand behind their product at all. I get it, there's a warranty on a, on a product. I get that that warranty is one year. A year and two weeks as a company is really poor. Um, a motherboard dying speaks to the quality of the products you're putting in your computers and it speaks to you as a company if you do nothing to stand behind that. So, do not buy a Dell, um, there's support Frankly, if you get a hold of somebody in support, first of all, it will take all day. Second of all, they will call you back. They will give you a, will call you in the next two to four hours back. So you literally, everything about the experience with their customer support is poor. Like they don't, they will not provide you anything besides, oops, sorry, oops, sorry, won't do anything for you. So you will waste a day of doing that to find out that they literally will do nothing for you. Okay, so here's the dilemma we have now. Do you spend, if I bought it myself and replaced the motherboard, $300. It's about $350 if I send it in, but then you're gonna lose your computer for eight to 10 weeks, and, and you're gonna pay the fee, right? And you gotta send it all in, so you don't know what they're gonna do to it. Um, so anyways, do I do that? And hopes that there isn't other crappy parts that are put in this thing, and that it will last longer? Um, or that the motherboard they give me isn't the same crappy motherboard and I'll be in the same spot a year from now, but now I'll be into a laptop for 900, almost $1,000. Um, or do I scrap the whole thing and uh, look for another laptop? Maybe go with uh, an Acer or an HP or a different laptop. So 
Give me your feedback. Have you had bad experiences with Dell? Um, if you had good experiences with another laptop, because I'm leaning towards scrapping it, which is really pretty sad. But I'm leaning towards scrapping a 600 and some dollar laptop and starting over. So um, Dell do better. It's really poor. I've bought tons of desktops and laptops from you in the past, I don't know, 25 years. I've never run into such a terrible experience as I have now. So I don't know what happened to your quality. Um, I don't know what happened to your service. Both have taken a dive. So do better. Okay, so until Dell gets their shit together, don't buy a Dell. And subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up. Please give me your suggestions. What worked for you, what didn't work for you. Um, and uh, give me what your feedback is on what you would do. Scrap it or uh, try to fix it.